Most of us don't really realize what wildlife and really wild habitats look like. For hundreds of years, we've slowly picked away at our ecology, taking out this strand here, taking out that strand there. We don't understand what our, our countryside really was. We have destroyed beautiful, diverse habitats, an utter jewel of wildlife, but because it was all done hundreds of years ago, we don't see our land as wrecked. We've lost all of our predators. Our last big predator in the UK is the badger. That's the biggest predator in the UK. So what does this mean? The complexity, the diversity has gone. All those little differences, the tiny differences of thousands of unique habitats that are created by those unique grazing patterns when the animals are in balance and that's kept by a top predator like a wolf or a lynx. Rewilding is really about how we leave land alone, but we reintroduce the right animals to that land. Bringing back a wolf will save the pine marten and the wildcat. It'll save a rare bird species. Now we come into a sort of social sphere where people fear wildlife, where they've got this horrible natural terror of the natural world. The lynx is a beautiful wild cat. It mid-size, size of a medium-sized dog. There is no records of lynx attacking humans, even children. It just doesn't happen. They're not going to come in towns or cities or people's gardens. Lynx just aren't like that. They're ghosts in the forest. They keep away from people. It's not too late to save wildlife. We know what rewilding's like. It's just like what you have in Europe. It's just like what you have in America. What is, what's wrong with creating a Yellowstone National Park in the Highlands and have all this wildlife? There's nothing wrong with that. Wildlife has an amazing ability to regenerate. We've seen on countless areas where we've started rewilding that wildlife can flourish so quickly it can come back in only a few years once we let it go.